Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse here and I am back for another low vision spotlight game video. This time we are taking a look at the PC version of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is the latest in the long running Assassin's Creed game uh, series and I recently did a video showcasing some of the accessibility features that you can expect to find in the game and there are quite a few of them <clears throat> not just for blind or low vision but for you know motor cognitive um, great subtitles and stuff for and, and captions for hearing uh, there's a lot of variety here so definitely check out that video if you want more of a deep dive on the accessibility features and before I go any further again I do just briefly want to mention a, a disclaimer here uh, this game was provided to me. I did get a review copy from Ubisoft, um, so I was able to take a look at some of the accessibility features and cover the game on the channel. So thank you to Ubisoft for the um, review copy, and I, did, I got it through the Ubisoft Connect, or U, formerly Uplay store, so that is how I'm playing this PC version. Um, so yeah, I just want to let you know that I do have, <clears throat> I did get this as a review copy, but I will be doing my fair, um, my fair review or fair spotlight video for it as well. So we are in the, uh, pause menu here and, um, primarily I've been playing with the Xbox One controller, but I do kind of switch back and forth between the controller and PC because some things just seem a little bit easier with the keyboard and mouse and some seem easier with the controller what I will say <clears throat> excuse me what I will say is the menus um, I kind of even with the controller um, I, I get it for the map screen but I don't really like the cursor you see that little round cursor as I up and down arrow um, I can't use the D-pad. Okay, sometimes I sometimes I can, sometimes I can't, because um, it's been inconsistent. A lot of times I won't be able to use the 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 D-pad. But see, you notice it's not speaking if I use the D-pad. But if I use my analog stick, load, store, options, store, load. See, sometimes it just wouldn't even move the menu. So there is some inconsistency there. I can move through it, but then it doesn't track with the text-to-speech. Um, and like I said, I get it through the, for the map because it's you know you're looking for icons and on this irregularly, um, you know this irregular screen. There's icons all over the place. But any more linear, you know, main menu, pause menu, options menu, um, I I guess I'm not really a fan of the the cursor menus. Um, I mean, with a mouse, it makes sense, but for a controller, it just kind of seems weird. Thankfully, under options, there is an accessibility option to snap to menu items rather than having to physically move the little pointer around. So I do like that because that will help both blind and low vision players, not to mention probably a lot of other people will like that as well. So that is a great feature, um, but there is still some kind of oddity with how text-to-speech tracks or whether like D-pad will or won't work. Um, there is that. But let's uh, back out into the game here. We are in our settlement. So we are playing a Viking. And we got our ship right there, our longboat, which we'll be taking uh, in a little bit. But there is my dude. We got him all cloaked up. Got his armor on. I got an axe. I've got a shield, and that's what I'm currently rolling with. Um, this is our settlement. So when we started the game, there was this whole thing where um, we our village in Norway got taken over. We were fighting. Um, our dad tried to sacrifice himself to um, save the community, which eh, didn't really work so well. You got revenge, but then you kind of, uh, you and your brother um, ended up deciding to leave Norway, 
because they didn't agree with some stuff going on. Again, I'm trying to dodge some of the spoiler stuff. But just to give you an idea. So then we're like, you know what? There's a lot of room in England. Let's go there, see if we can't find a settlement. So we were hoping to find some people here. Uh, but unbeknownst to us, what ended up happening was, well, yeah, that didn't work out well either because no one was there except some bandits. So what did we do? We ransacked the place because we're Vikings. And uh, yeah, we just said, yeah, you know what? This is ours now. Yeah, we own this now. So um, yeah, we now have this settlement. It is really run down. I only have really two or three buildings right now. Um, basically, one of your main missions is as you explore the countryside, um, you are trying to raid other places so you can get resources. You are trying to go through these different uh, regions of England and get kind of partnerships so that you know you you can kind of team up with them and uh, ultimately, you know, grow your tribe. We are the I love it. We are the Raven Clan, and we hear the wolf over there. Uh, we'll get to him in a minute. Uh, but this is, every one of these villages has a, what they call a longhouse. And this is kind of where people have all their gatherings and stuff like that. Uh, this was the first building that was already there, so we just kind of, like I said, took it over. Got our entertainers over there. Got our long, uh, kind of a dining area. We got all of our drinking and all that kind of stuff going on. I do have a little, my own little quarters over here in, in this building, although I haven't really gone to it much. We have our map room. This is where we keep track of our alliances. Hey, lady, how's it going? Alliance okay. people, show me the alliance map. Now, when I do have dialogue choices, the text-to-speech does let me choose. So, let's say I can look at the, see the alliance map. We can look at the alliance map, and here we go. Eligible. Suggested power twenty. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. So, it said it was claimed before. Oh, can I only do one at a time? See, this was a... I literally just did this before recording the video. I was in the middle of doing this mission. Um, I, I thought I secured her trust... Uh, but I was doing some side missions for her. I, I did one for her. There's this lady that is, she got her um, her village, her her town taken over. I helped get it back. That was a fun mission. And then there's a thing where she's like, I think I'm being betrayed here because you know this shouldn't have happened. Uh, so I'm kind of doing these quests to investigate. But then when I claim this up here, this is where. My brother is. We're committed. To, I wonder. I want to see if I can commit to this. Let's see. Tell me about Grandabritsha. A force of Danes called the Summer Army by the Saxons is camped north of Grandabridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. So apparently, you can only claim one of these at once. So. Return to map. I will pledge to grant a bridge desire. I'm going to go back to this because when I went to my quest menu, when I switched to that oh, northern right province away. there, and may the blessings of Freya follow. what happened was is the missions disappeared from my quest log. So now if I go to my quest, so here's our map. I can, uh, this is our zoomed out level, but we can also zoom in a little bit, which I'm really glad we, we can do. Uh, we can zoom in two times, so we do get a nice, um, there we go, we get a nice broad view of the map, or we can zoom in pretty far. Now let me see what happens with our quests. Okay, there's our Ravensthorpe, that is our town that we're in right now. Press A track. Are you kidding me? Grant the bridge unholy father. Devor joins Lippin to plot to assassinate the priest of Walden, a man loyal to Whitman. Press A track. 
Okay, I'm going to be really upset if I have to do all of this over again. I didn't know that that would just take... I thought since I did her original mission and then I had these side... Because there were three side quests. She has three advisors. Um, but then when I switched it to that other province, I thought I could just add that since I said, Oh, yeah, okay, She, I helped her. She got her village back or her town back. Um, so the text-to-speech, it's really interesting because... Sometimes it reads and sometimes it won't. Like right now. Yeah, so sometimes I'm arrowing and it reads, sometimes it doesn't. And if I go down, then I go back up. Now it'll read. But this one won't read. So. Oh god, that would suck if I had to do all the the initial missions and the whole raid again in order to get back to where I was cuz I did like 3 or 4 missions for her. Um but there you go. So you get some of these missions um I wish it would have told me that it like a dialogue would have told me that that would erase progress for that section of the map. That's not cool. I'll have to figure that out on my own time. But we are going to explore a little bit. So we're going through our longhouse here. And I'll show you we have... I literally just built a stable because I went on a couple of raids and got some resources. Raids are fun. Like, you just go into some place and like, you know what? No, nope, this is ours. And so we just go ahead and take it. And we, you know, we bust in. We take the resources and just slay people. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Like, I just want to ride in and, like, blare some Amon Amarth and just, you know, because that's this cool metal band that's all about, like, Viking battles and stuff. Just look them up on uh, your music service of choice. Amon Amarth. It's so ridiculous. It's like Viking metal. It's it's kind of great in a cheesy way. It's kind of great. But, he, so, yeah, we got our stable up here that we just built. He's pretty happy about it. We have other places in here that we still need to build. Uh, and e unlocking, building these will upgrade our settlement, but it'll also give us additional abilities. Like once I get to the point where I can um, upgrade things, like I can upgrade my mount, I can upgrade my, I have a raven that I can call right here. What do you see, Sunin? Sunin. So yeah, I can just cruise around and, and uh, use this to scout an area. So before I invade it, I maybe want to see where the guards are. Maybe I want to see what type of layout I have. I can just kind of have him fly around. And that's pretty cool. Uh, that's been an Assassin's Creed thing for a little while. But that is a mechanic that I have. More importantly though, dude, look what I just unlocked with the stable. Screw horses, man. I got a giant freaking wolf. I can ride a wolf as a mount. Charging in, man. Coming into a place with just a horde of Vikings. And then I can come in with my, my axe and my shield and my freaking mounted, my wolf as a mount. How great is that? That's awesome. I saw that I have a horse that I could use, but I'm like, pfft, horse nothing, man. Horse nothing. We are riding this wolf. Because I'm a Viking and I'm badass. That is what we're doing. So yeah, and I can bring up a, a menu here. It's like a wheel. I have different, I can put on, I can use my torch. I can call my troops. I can call my mount. All kinds of, kinds of different stuff here. So it's just kind of a quick access. Those do not speak. Um, so that, again, that's another area that doesn't. What I will say is the text-to-speech generally does a pretty good job. Let me show you one more menu Quest. thing before we move on. Um, so we have our quests. World. Our map doesn't... Some of it Press will, but some of it won't. Uh, like if I just move over something else. Not synchronized. Not synchronized, and if I go, let's see, where is it? There's one down. No. Uh, let's see. So we haven't found that yet. Storming Ravensby. If we're joined, and crew to eliminate movement forces at Ravensby. Press a track. I swear to God, I do. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Not synchronized. 
Weird. Okay. So sometimes it will read. Undiscovered location. Read. Read this location with your crew to gain its wealth and materials for your settlement's growth. So it'll say that, but it doesn't tell me. Like this one, I do not want to do. You see on the lower corner there, it's red. Rank needs to be, uh, they recommend a level 90. And I'm not anywhere near. If I went there to do that raid, I would probably royally get my butt kicked. So I can show you the inventory. Oops. Yep. Inventory. Here we go. So this does speak. But what is weird is if I go into, let's say, one of these armors. So, again, if I move too quickly or sometimes it just stops speaking and it's I've just found this inconsistency where it'll start to speak and then it stops. And let me move around here. So... Find torso. Press A and click. Preserved armor. Superior torso. Press A. Rawls tunic. Find torso. Raven clan armor. Find torso. Press A and click. Upgrade lock. So it won't read me everything in there. I won't go into all the detail, but that's in my accessibility video. But since doing that accessibility video, I've just Rawls noticed tunic. some weird inconsistencies. And what I have found, and one of the reasons that I switch back and forth between the keyboard and the mouse... <clears throat> is that in these menus, sometimes I find the controller stuff to be a little bit sketchy as to whether it reads, but then if I move my mouse around and physically hover over things, I find that the text-to-speech does read a little bit more consistency, or with a little bit more consistency, it does read a little bit better. So, yeah, there's a little bit of jank there um, with some of the way that the text-to-speech reads. So what we are going to do, I'm going to go to my quests. I'm going to make sure that everything is deactivated. Okay, and then I am going to set a waypoint. Uh, there's this raid that we kind of finished, but then there's something else down here. I want to go explore that. So we're going to... Not synchronized. I set a map point to it. We have our mission that's right nearby as well, so if we get that far, we do. Alrighty, Wolfie, I'm gonna get off because I gotta use my boat. But I'll call for you later. You will be needed. Because you're awesome. Alright. So, we got our docks here, and... I can swim. And with, uh, one thing that the Assassin's Creed games have always had um, is the ability, like, you can climb almost any surface. So, like, if there's buildings, if there are walls, if there are cliffs, you can just go ahead and climb them. And that's pretty cool. It kind of helps you get around the environment. I've had a little bit of troubles, like, sometimes you'll jump to things you don't mean to, or sometimes, like, he'll just kind of glitch on some of the like especially when trying to climb mountains like if there's like an overhang he'll kind of like jitter and just like not always climb up the way you're supposed to but i can jump in here and i can uh man the helm here man command and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say you know what go ahead and go down river can't raise the sail yet and then i'm gonna hit y Hopefully it'll do it. Sing us a song. Sing. Okay, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. Come on now. Get up there. Get up there. To the waves. Okay, come on. I wish you got a little bit better feedback no sometimes. Okay, here we go. We're gonna set sail. Okay, here we go. Now it says press Y. So now, I don't have to worry about piloting it, and they will, I could steer this manually, but it, again, it steers like a boat, it's a boat, it, it's kind of, I've done it, I did it a lot in Norway, but then I, I, I'm relying a lot more on the kind of autopilot feature, similar to in the modern games, like Watch Dogs, where you can say, hey, just uh, do your auto drive with your GPS coordinates that you have, your waypoints. 
you can do that here, which I really do like, because you can literally just set it, hey, go down the river, or once you're doing that, then you can hit, it'll prompt you for that Y button. And it's gonna take me, you'll see a little bit of a, you see, you see a little bit of a line there in the water, and they'll follow it to whatever objective you set on the map. I don't have to worry about steering. They will also, you can tell them when to uh, raise and lower the sail. And when you go under bridges, you'll have to do that um, because it's too big. So you have to kind of just float underneath it and they'll row. But as you're going, one of the cool things is you hear the guy jamming out on his little guitar there or loot, whatever he's got. But at any time I can hit, uh, let's say, I'll hit the R uh, right bumper. Got a story. There was a woman called Nal who came by ship to Fornberg and heralded, demanding to meet King Sigvaldi, Styrbjorn's father. Nal was from Gautland. She was possible. tall and rugged and strong. And everyone right, so here we go. They're going to pull down the sail. When her message was sent to our king, Nal was made to wait a full day. Yet she did not complain. She watched the waves and sang songs. Night came and went, and still Nal sat by the shore of the fjord, singing her songs. She skipped rocks with children and smiled. As the afternoon of the second day approached, King Sigvaldi's messenger reappeared. They spoke quietly together. At last, the messenger stood back and waved to some men nearby. Three men bearing three chests of silver approached quickly. They set the chests of silver in Nal's ship and stood back. Then Nal stepped forward, swinging a large, bloodied sack before her. Okay, where are we at on the map? Let me check real fast. Okay, uh, we are... Oh, okay, you're going around that way, okay. So you're going to loop around and then go to the... Okay, I see what you're doing. Wow, that actually, he's zipping around pretty good. And emptied it on the shore. Seven pairs of hands tumbled to the ground. Nal then mounted a ship. And sailed away. Oh, okay, you're just gonna... Okay. Okay, so we can't go any further. We're just gonna jump out and take the rest on foot. That's not a big deal. Oh, wait, let me go in here again. It kind of prompted me. Hang on. Get up. Get up on your boat. Okay, why take command? Yeah, I don't need to take command. Alright, so... You see a little bit of the autopiloting. I really do love that feature, uh, especially in this game, because just navigating the waterways, I just like to listen to the, the crew. They'll tell jokes. They'll tell stories. Um, they'll Sometimes they'll have songs where they're just the instrument. Sometimes they'll be singing along. You can apparently find more songs in the game that, that you can collect, and then you can have them sing. That, so that's pretty awesome. Let me look at my map here, and I'm going straight down and to the right. Okay, so the problem is I want to figure out... There is this raid site. Um, that we looted, but there's this other one that was right nearby, and I'm trying to figure out... I thought I could call... Let me do that. Let me see if I can get him to come with me. Since they're in earshot, I can blow my horn here. My, my Viking horn. So I'm not quite sure when that's applicable. I thought that was supposed to call them. And then they would join you, like if you're taking over a settlement or something. Like you wanted a group to come in and help you battle. So we're going to continue this way and kind of explore the map. Um, I don't, like, again, I'm, I'm purposely avoiding some of the quests, like the story quest, because I don't want to, this is a really story heavy game. So I don't really want to spoil too much of that, but I do want to show you just like my experiences with the gameplay, some of the gameplay mechanics, showed you a little bit of sailing. Showed you a little bit of the town. I do want to show you some combat at any time I can hit B. 
um, and I can kind of do a crouch. I have stealth kills. Um, again, I love the fact that the skill tree speaks. That is awesome. I've wanted that in games for so long. Okay, we are. Okay, we are. Oh, oh, we got a new. Uh, what is that? That is. Okay, suggested power 20, that's fine. Great, I don't know how to say that. Um, is it somewhere I can invade? I found a new place on my map when I was looking for... Her. Okay, I heard another Viking horn of some kind. I want to see if we can find a place to fight. Quest. So yeah, now it World. went over to quest instead of the map. Kelly Enquick, Kendall the Blood Brewer made her name by slitting enough throats to fill bats with blood. She is one of the favorites of the Order, who assigned her important targets. Oh! Power <laughs> now it went for... Kelly Enquick, Kendall the Blood Brewer made her name by slitting enough throats to fill bats with blood. Okay, suggested power 90. Okay, so apparently I'm going to get my ass kicked if I go in here, but you know what? We're here. Let's explore this little area, and then we'll go to that other place that's nearby. And I might try that other raid, just so you can kind of see what a raid looks like. Uh, even though, I'm, like I said, I'm going to do horribly, I bet. We do have some missions right nearby, but uh, I want to... Okay, so let's go hard to the right. Now, you notice on the top of the screen, this compass. Another accessibility feature that I very much appreciate, especially in a situation like this where you have this sunset. Um... Having that black background contrast is extremely helpful for navigating around. World. Okay, where are we? We are there. I'm trying to see if I can trigger any like enemies or something like that. Um, <clears throat> this area I just kind of unlocked some of it last night. So, God, that looks, that, that sun glare, it looks really good, but it almost makes it hard to see. World. Okay, so we're heading straight for... Hmm. Yeah, we got all kinds of different icons up here that we're, that we are discovering. I want to get into a battle. The one thing I will say is, you know, you do have the compass, but I do sort of wish for, you know what, why am I doing this? Why am I, why am I not riding in style? Hell yeah. Yeah, you growl, man, it's on. Anybody messes with us, you're going to help me, right? I can ride my wolf. That's awesome. Let's follow this road a little bit. I, I like to just explore, too. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, oh, do you... I'm clean vermin. Oh. Oh, you, you, oh, you're gonna pay for that some... Oh. All right, we're in a, we're in some kind of a duel. Okay, this is probably not going to go well because I think this is that guy that was like super high powered. So I'm going to probably get my ass kicked, but we're going to... Oh god, he went too far out. Okay. Oh god, I just got him. Oh wow, yeah. Okay, that would be why they said that they recommended level 90 because that guy uh, just eviscerated me and that was not cool. So when you're in a loading screen, you're in this kind of watery, foggy void. But you can kind of just play around and do attacks and your little dashes. And Okay, uh, note to self, don't pick a fight with that guy because he will utterly destroy you at this point in the game. Got it. Okay, where, in fact, are we? Okay, we're right there. Uh, oh, oh, we got a raid here. What is this? Level one. F oh, God. 
Yeah, no, we're not going anywhere near that raid. How about you? God, all these raids, they're so high in level. I mean, you know, I guess we could just... Basically go straight forward and... Let me call my wolf again. You know what? Well, I guess so. We'll, maybe we'll try a story mission. This should be, I'm thinking, more of a side thing. Alrighty, Wolfie. Let's go see where we're supposed to go. And not pick a fight with that guy, because he will just utterly destroy us. So there are a bunch of these weaker enemies that you can find, and then there are these, like, mini-bosses and bosses. Grandfather's boss. wallop is like none other. Ooh. All it takes is one. His fist is a glorious basher of fools, full of great big scars and old dried blood. Oh. <laughs> one day I'm going to be as strong as grandfather. I'll wallop the heads off oxen. He uses his powerful wallop to protect us. Oh, his legend grows with every day. Yeah, he might be the guy that I just got murdered. Come on, let me talk to you. Because you see the speech bubble. Come on, let me talk to you. A little, okay, it's a little fussy in the position that you have to be. Come on. Little ones, what is this wallop you speak of? It's our grandfather, and be careful unless you want a walloping. I am certain my might could clove his wallop. Many cowards have said the same. He uses only one fist, one wallop, boom, like a wolf howling with its knuckles. Well, this wallop has me curious. Ha! Huh. Good. Destiny is coming to your plate. Grandfather, there's someone looking for a walloping. Hello. Yes, I have overwhelmingly powerful strength, but it is not worth talking about. If you are Drenga, we should tell stories of battle, swill a cup of mead around the hearth, and share our wisdom. You want some wisdom? Don't become a hero like I have. I'm cursed with this wallop. These children have made me curious. <laughs> and demeanor even more so. Oh, I begged you. There's no need for this to go where I feel you think it should. <laughs> you best depart unless you desire your face become a fist cave. Children, stop <laughs> saying such things. I do not want to use it. Attack, I want to take on the wallop. Exit, I do not have time for this. Attack, I want to take on the wallop. Oh, let's do it. I truly wish to see this wallop. I will break it with my humble fists. Oh, neither of us will enjoy this, I'm afraid. Oh yeah. Okay, we got a duel here. I'm tired. There you have it. As promised. Final victory for me and my wallet. Oh. oh. Beaten. Why, God? Come back if you want another taste of my endless victory. I do. And okay, so it's a one. Beware. My fist has broken many smiles. Not a fun reality. Come on, I want to fight you again. Come here. Come here. Let's do it again. If you want the wallop, it will ruin your life. Hi, I have returned. All right, let's try it again. I see. I suppose you want to see the wallop. <laughs> Let's do it. So yeah, I wanted to say I figured it was going to be like a one-hit knockdown. This is a sad moment in time. Hold on to your teeth. All right, so time has come for you. I can lock on. Nope. Really? Wow. My wind-up took too long. Still unbeaten. So, of course, this is a side quest. He wants to quit, and he wants to be defeated. Find the key. Okay, so I need a key to get in there. Let's do it one more time, then we'll move on. Again, that's the way these games work. We get sidetracked, you know? Yes, it is time. I want to experience this Okay, I think we're going to go light attacks, because... I Hold think, unless I can really get behind him, 
Okay, Don't I'm locked on. Warn you, the disappointment you will feel, I also feel. Uh oh. Ah, uh oh. Okay, we gotta dodge here. Okay, I keep hitting the wrong button here. Oh dear. Walk on. I'm tired. Wow. He's pretty quick. He's pretty now quick. For me and my oh, still All right, so now do I have my... Okay, I still am equipped here. Okay, um... Where the heck were we going? So here you got to see a side quest that I sucked at. Uh, okay, I need to go down south for our quest. So that is a different guy. We'll come back to him at some point. But uh, yeah, so you get all these, you know, you're exploring. You don't want to just go for the main quest. You want to walk around a little bit because you'll find these little farmsteads or caves or any other number of things, you know, that'll just be some kind of random quest. And they seem to be rather fleshed out as far as like interesting little story bits that you can do. Um, I like that. And this feels like more of a, like I tried some of the early Assassin's Creed, especially like the first one, could not get into it. I just, I love the idea, but I just really didn't get into the actual game all that much. It was kind of repetitive and I didn't really care for some of the stealth mechanics. Um, but this one just feels a lot more like you're almost like a traditional role-playing game. That's sort of what these games have become. I don't know there was a little bit of the animus stuff where if you do, if you're not familiar with the Assassin's Creed franchise there you know all of this stuff takes place like in the past of course but then you have these um, present day or future sections where there's this ongoing sort of plot and you're going into this like virtual environment which is what we're actually in right now and you're playing through these character stories uh, I have no clue what's going on with the characters in the present day stuff because I have not played Odyssey or Origins I have them I just haven't gotten around to it yet and um, so I there was only a 5-10 minute, you know, thing there. Alright, so we're gonna jump over here. You see our dime. Quit it, dude! Would you get up there? Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Alright, so here's one of that lady's guards, I think. We're gonna see what he wants. Someone said I would find you here, Leaf. Leaf, What's your there plan? We go. We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the elder man and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. Or just we'll get wrath started. everybody, which is probably what'll happen. How did you join Soma's clan? What is it like to be the master shipbuilder? How did you join Soma's clan? How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum, the great summer army the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead. Something I would have liked to do myself. And what would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. How did you join Soma's clan? Hmm. Do you agree with Soma being your leader? You were there when Guthrum made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trade. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. How did you join Soma's clan? Do you agree with Soma being your leader? What is it like to be the master ship builder? So these are kind of side things. I mean, they're they're critical to the quest, but they're they're not like super major things. So I figure show you a little bit of the dialogue trees here, and 
you know, a little bit of the storytelling. The dialogue, the voice acting is generally quite good from what I've heard so far. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color. I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. How did you join Soma's clan? Hmm. I wonder if we'll have a mission for him later so to what is find like this. Exit in up talk. Thief. Let's work. All right, let's get Good to work. Conversation, Leith. Now let's take down Wickman's man. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. Okay. The warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. Okay, so I don't know exactly how this is going to work. I know he said we're supposed to sneak. Um, you're not moving. I thought I was going to follow you. Maybe you're going to follow me? All right, let me just do a little pan around here. Okay, yeah, he wants me to lead. Okay. Let me just do a little map check here. Okay, yep, so I'll head basically straight forward in the direction that I'm going. And we're gonna, we're gonna crouch. I wonder if this is an. Uh, I'd be bummed if this was an insta fail mission. Okay, oh. Okay, that is definitely that is definitely a distraction. Now these particular walls, I know, I would much prefer a more straightforward approach. But for you, I'll try something new. How kind. I'll keep your voice down. Okay, uh, let me see. I, I don't know if I'm Can I climb this here? No. But so let's kill some stuff. Hey, you were going to shoot me, so... Oh, okay. So you have your regular kind of minion enemies that you can just slaughter. And then you have your boss sort of guys. Like, when you're invading, like, a fort or something... Hey, your guys are fighting me, man. If you attack me, I'll cut you down, son. Yeah, I know you're not happy about it, but I guess we have to slaughter the innocent since they're not so innocent and they are trying to come after me. Oh, yeah. Big old melee kill there. Okay, so what building is this priest in? Uh, since I'm here and I'm basically wrecking everything anyway, let's bust in here and loot stuff. Because we're Vikings and that's just what this turned into. There's another raid because, yeah, we're Vikings and we're going to wreck shit, basically. And I'm going to loot because, oh yeah. Hey, uh-oh. Oh, Come here. I have this attack too where I, I, if I knock him down, I can. I want to try to knock this guy down, then I can curb stomp him. Come here, buddy. You and your damn blocking. Want to quit blocking me? I know we're in tight quarters here, but. I gotta watch my stamina too. And yes, I can start myself on fire, so I gotta be careful about that. Okay, you know what? I better. Oh, that's got to leave a mark. Okay. Uh, things got a little bit out of hand. You need to get up. All right, we got you up. Yeah, we're just going to ra we're just going to totally ransack this place. We went from a stealth mission to just a flat-out raid. 
Oh, you're, you're gonna run away, are you? Think you're gonna try to get an upper hand on me, huh? Punk. Okay, we're gonna look for more enemies. I right click the the or I click, click the right stick. Bring up my shield there and fight him. Yep, you're dead. Okay, we've got him. Stealth, nothing. Let's just kick some ass. Okay. Uh. Okay, what do we got in here? Is this okay? That's the place I was in that I just looted. Okay. Yeah, I would say I like their idea of a distraction. Yeah, just start the town on fire. Now, one thing I do wish, like the compass. Let's see, is there? I'm not sure which icon is, you know, usually you have the diamond, but once you're in, I wish that there was a little bit more clear indication exactly where your main objective is, especially like I've been places where you have to find a key to open a building. And I find myself wandering around a bit much more than I want to. So I could climb this. There's, like, somebody yelling up here, so I'm wondering if somebody's, like, in a cage. Sometimes there are people in cage. Okay. Um. Yeah, I wish that there were... Okay, that just might be, uh... You get these civilians that aren't really fighting, but they're, like, freaking out. Um, but I wish that there was almost, like, a fable breadcrumb sort of thing, or some sort of better way to indicate objectives once you're in a zone like a town or a castle or just wherever because I find myself overlooking things or depending on like there was a mission where it was really really misty and foggy and I found it really kind of difficult to find little things that I was supposed to try to be locating so I really do wish that that could have been made a little bit easier all right so we got a chest we got some more resources there again those tips that come up on the side i wish those did speak as well again i think in a game or two you're gonna have something like the last of us 2 where you do have the map you do have some of these inconsistencies in menus and you actually do have gameplay um i have a feeling this door is locked from the other side, okay. Okay, well, uh, how about I just break it? How about that? <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we looted that building. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, just, you know, who needs doors? I make my own doors, son. Yeah, once I'm in an area, I just, I find... Yeah, see, I find... I kind of wish there was, like, a little bit more glowy. Um, you see the little, little bit of sparkles, but sometimes... I've just had a little bit of trouble finding some of the objectives once I get to an area. But, uh, yeah, you got to see us take out a minor village. Uh, we got to storm a castle. Actually, I've stormed a couple of them. Those were fun. Because there's just chaos everywhere. You've got dudes fighting. You've got people on the wall. You've got, you know, shooting arrows at you, so you go up there and kill them first. And then you go kill the other guys. Um, you know, sometimes you have to bash open these locks that are on these gates. Oh. Come here, bud. You want some? Yeah. Bring it, son. Yeah, ring your bell. I'll ring your bell. How about that? Okay. Well, you rang your bell, but any more any anybody else coming? I still got to figure out where this priest is. I'm just having fun slaughtering the village. Okay, this is oh, this is a different building that I will loot for treasure. And I will break some of this stuff. Oh, 
I can't break it, okay. Uh, any big... Oh, here we go. We got more loot over here. I don't want to miss anything because resources are definitely precious. We need a lot of those. Okay, we can't break that door, but we can open it, I think. Uh, let me just make one more pass through this... Oh, I thought I saw a sparkle back here. Might have been just dust. Okay, I think we have uh, properly looted this place, so that is good. Come on. Okay, we are daytime now. Yeah, we're just having ourselves a good old looting time here. Uh, I still gotta find this stupid priest and figure out where they are. Uh, I mean, I'm like I said, I'm in the village. If I let me zoom into the map here and see if it gives me any better clue. Uh, okay, I gotta go. That diamond there. I wonder if that's actually where. So I've slaughtered his village. I gotta go to the right. Why the hood, stranger? Oh, you're gonna... Really? You want this? Oh, yeah. Oh. Meaty. Jesus, dude. Somebody's got anger management issues. <laughs> slash, slash, slash. We, okay, I think we looted that, I think. Let's just uh, get toward the mission here. Oh, okay. Big giant building. This seems like it might be a good uh, place to start. No, don't climb on the thing, you dunce. Alright. Yeah, see, I started myself on fire from that uh, fire by accident. Okay, we'll definitely grab that. Uh, what else can I loot in here? I can go through the window. Hopperoo, right through the Best not to Best not what? I didn't hear what he said. Oops! I totally slaughtered that guy. Okay, let me see, can I grab... No, I don't want to carry you. Okay, let me look at my map again. Because it's easier for me to look on the main map. Okay, i got to take a left. Oh, okay, we got to get up this ladder, maybe. I don't know what I'm looking for. priest is in the church. Ah. Of course he is. He's a priest, so... Oh, I'll stop. And gut ya. Yeah. Oh. Somebody's being fancy. Oh, okay, you blocked. Oh, this guy's being a little punk. Okay, we're, he's almost gone, though. That'll do. I don't think he's getting up from that. I'll loot that. Okay, that guy is toast, and I'm going to loot because I can. Oh, ow, oh, okay, what's going on here? Okay, come here. Alright, that guy is probably not going to live. Okay, yeah, we are... Uh, 
You just probably want to stay away unless you want to get cleaved, madam. Now, I wonder if I'm going to need a key, and I wonder if I have it. That's going to be the problem. Okay. Okay, here we go. We can get into the church. And I hope there's going to be a lot of loot for my place, too. Uh, find the key. Oi! I hate finding keys. Okay, well, uh... I wish I could trick him into opening the door. So, where, if, if I were a key... I don't know if I'm supposed to kill you, but... No, I don't want to carry you. I didn't want him screaming out. Okay. Break that. Ooh, what's this? I got silver. Okay. All right, more supplies. Well, we're getting loot, but I don't think I got a key yet. So again, uh, I've kind of had trouble finding the keys in some of these places. Like, I don't know if they're outside or inside sometimes. Um, it's funny that I can, you know, usually like break some doors, but I can't break other ones arbitrarily. Um, let's see. This might give me, see, please. I wonder if this note has a key to the clue, or a clue to where the key is. Okay, why? Oh! Book of Knowledge, yes, and then I can get skills. Excellent. Excellent. So these give me special abilities. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I can equip these special abilities when I find these books. If I were a key, I would hope I would be in the church somewhere. Uh, I did show you some combat. You know, I'm glad I got to show you some of that, some dialogue. I, again, trying to show you as many mechanics as I can and also where I'm having issues so like I said finding some of the objectives when I get into an area um, you know or a rough area that would be helpful sometimes let's just wreck that because I can uh, I think we've got everything pretty much looted here can I break these pots no Okay. Alright, yeah, I know I need to... See, I'm just looking around for all these desks and stuff. Okay, we got that. That's the, where you read. I still don't have a... I don't have the freaking key. I wonder if one of the guards do? Oh, hey. Come here. Come here. Oh, maybe you, you should have the key. How about that? I wish you had the key. Then I'll steal it from you. Any more? Now, I can hold down the right stick, and it does this little ping, which I do like, but it disappears so quickly. Like, I don't really know how helpful that is in a lot of cases because it's just, boom, it's gone. You hear little sounds about things that might be around you, but it, it doesn't really highlight anything for any length of time, it would seem. So, you know, again, thinking of something like The Last of Us or, um, you know, even just other games where they've had that a little bit longer or you do the ping, but then... If it highlights anything, those things will stay better highlighted. 
Yeah, so this is where I got stuck in another tower where I couldn't find the stupid key during a raid. And I know I'm probably overlooking it. You know, it's just like, oh, it's dead simple, or I'm, I didn't pick it up off a guy's corpse, or it's in some sort of... I'll grab that. Silver. Uh, I think That's I can break... Can I break? Okay, I can't. It looked like I could break that wall. Let me get back out again. Let me go back in there because I want to see. I, I missed what he said again. I wonder if he'll say it. No, he won't say it. Okay, we got a torch. Uh, no, don't climb the wall. Goofball. So, yeah, the problem is I don't know... I don't know where this dumb key is. I can get in the church. But ultimately getting to our priest buddy that we need... But on the plus side, this is one of those side missions for um, that lady, so I don't have to redo... Oh, okay, hey buddy. Let's kill you because... Leave no guards to tell the tale. Oh, okay, he's, he's a little angry. Okay, let me heal. I have... you gotta collect food and stuff. All right. Thank you, sir, for helping me out with that. Much appreciated. Grab some more silver. I would really like a silver key or whatever, uh, whatever ore key it's made out of. I really want this key because I really want to assassinate this guy. Oh, what's this? Okay, I can bust that open. Uh, is this a... Where the heck am I now? Oh! Wait a minute. Oh, that was... Are you kidding me? Oh, for weird. I could open it from the other side, and it was just a door out... What the hell? Okay. <laughs> so... Let me look at my quest real fast. So, did I... Did I end up... So now I have this... Like... Cross... What is it? Like, it looks like a... Crossed... Swords or something? Let's see. Level 20... I mean, I could go there. Okay, we got some gold sparkling there. I might... I must have killed him. Let me look at my quests. So I don't have. Okay. Build from the roof, a new home. The settlement is Raven's Door. Storming Raven's Beak. Devore joins Burn and her crew to eliminate Woodman's forces at Raven's Beak. Press A track. Okay, so it won't read this one up here. Um. Read it. Come on. Yeah, so it's really bizarre. Now, if I use my mouse, watch it'll happen. Let's see, it'll probably read. Grant the sire. Grant the unholy father. If yeah. If live in a plot to assassinate the priest of Walden, a man loyal to Whitman. Press A track. Okay, I think I might have... Unholy father. If or joins live in a plot to assassinate the priest of Walden. Unholy father. If or joins live in a plot to assassinate the priest of Walden, a man loyal to Whitman. Press A track. So even with the mouse, it, it, it's really sporadic as to which one... Sometimes it speaks them, sometimes it doesn't. And you almost have to just kind of keep going back and forth, and eventually it may or may not speak. But they do have, as I featured in the other accessibility video, they do have some really nice... I mean, look at the text size for these pop-ups. I wish that more games would do this sort of font customization. These are pretty darn good fonts. You have the dark background... You have the large text that you can choose. 
and even let me move the mouse out of the way so you can let me just click on one of these so if i track one of these this stuff on the right hand side doesn't speak yet but it does have oh okay so i just got to escape oh okay okay so all i got to do is escape and then i can complete that okay we can do that uh, let me look at the map just to see if it, there's a specific place that it wants me to escape to. Um, I don't. I don't think so. I think I just maybe have to get out. Let's head to the right. Okay, so I just basically, yeah, we ransacked this place pretty good. So now I think we can just climb our way out of here. Won't be gentle if they spot me. <laughs> and we'll just escape, and hopefully it should count our quest as finished. Oh, I heard a, a ting, which means somebody spotted us, which might be a guard, if there are any left alive. Now, there are... There... Let me see. Okay, I'm... Uh... I really want to know what that gold is, because that could be super helpful. Maybe in this thing here? Would it be in here? I thought I looted here already. Yeah, I probably looted here already, but... Let me just make sure. Because that was a pretty shiny icon, which means to me that... That's probably some significant riches that I'm going to have to find. Um, I thought it would be in this building here, maybe. Let me see. Let me look at the map again. Uh, okay, it's to our right. Sort of-ish. I don't know. Let's see, what do we got over here? I want to wrap up this video pretty shortly, because I'm sure this will be a little bit longer. But... I don't know. Well. To the left. Yeah, there's... There's not really... Okay. Okay, I grabbed something there, I think. But these are the little types of, like, user interface things that... You know, overall, the game is quite playable. I will say that much. Like, I'm having fun. Especially when I go on these, like, raids and, like, you're, you're cruising, you're jumping off the ship with your buddies and just unleashing the Fury. Um, I love that. And the missions have been pretty interesting so far. I really do like it. But um, finding just some of these major icons or points of interest once I'm once I am in somewhere I just find it a little bit again because you have the graphic fidelity and I can only Im I can only imagine oh okay hold on I can only imagine it's probably even more so on the new gen consoles because the graphic fidelity is even higher that you know the, the environments are so detailed that like it's easy to miss some of the detail or some of these little things that you're overlooking because, you know, you have lighting, shadows, all the clutter around the environment, so, which is great for immersion, but for accessibility, I can't help but even think, like, during combat sometimes, or even during, especially during stealth, if I want to be stealthy, I found the high contrast mode in The Last of Us 2 to work really well, and I kind of want that in more games now. Uh, because, again, you know, you get this predator vision. It cuts out a lot of the, again, a lot of the clutter. I can see enemies in red. I can see my, me and my allies. Uh, items could be brightly highlighted in another color. A high contrast mode. You know, I never thought I would really say this, or I never thought that I would love it as much as I did, but in a big world like this, um, 
that was ended up being very helpful and I used it a lot in The Last of Us. I used it a lot in The Last of Us too. So that could potentially be something that other people could add into their games, the Assassin's Creed uh, or any open world game or action game for that matter, especially with stealth. All right, so we're gonna see if we can climb over these gates. Jump out, dude. Okay, these spiky things, they won't let you jump over. Uh, okay, we can jump out here. Here we go. Boom. Doing it. Alright, uh, now... Does that mean quest complete? We're pretty well... We're pretty well out of here now. Let's see what it says. Quest. Quest. Oh, speak with Leaf. Okay. Okay, Mr. Leaf, where are you? Uh-oh, where did he go? Okay, let's go find him here. He didn't... Okay, he just went right back to where he was. Hey, what's up? Let me speak at you. Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. That and his did. men. <laughs> You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. All right, so we have one more loyalty quest to complete for her. At least we still haven't met with the... Uh, there's still one of her close guards or assistants that uh, we have not met with as of yet. But we are not going to do that on this particular video. So that is a look at Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Overall, like I said, I really do like it. There are some kind of navigation accessibility issues. Um, just some accessibility issues like finding items, finding waypoints, finding specific things in a location that I do have a little bit of trouble with. Um, a, a breadcrumb trail optionally could be really helpful. You know, just kind of have a glowy path on the ground in addition to or in place of the compass. Because um, the compass kind of helps you get in a direction, but sometimes you're like, wait, what? It's just kind of going a little crazy. Uh, and having that thing just to kind of follow to make it easier. High contrast mode um, would be really nice. Again, from the other video, let me show you the bow and arrow. I haven't really, I don't use that much. Partially because look at the, look at the crosshair. Look at its, it, it does like it, that tree it stands out kind of okay but when you're looking at a light area um i find that it's and especially when it turns red you have this tiny little red dot on an enemy that can blend in and i really would like something similar to watchdogs legion where i can at least change the size shape and color of that to make that stand out because Right now, I can just freely aim, but if I'm in a heavy combat situation and I need to pop off a, a bolt or something, you know, pop off an arrow really quickly, I don't have time to just go, oh, let's see, where is that again? Okay, do I have it? Uh, okay, there, I think I got him. But by, by the time I do that, I'm probably getting pelted with other archers or other swordsmen or axemen, that kind of a thing. So there are still some issues. There are some difficulties that I do have. That being said, I love the progress that Ubisoft is making in all of their open world games. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Watch Dogs, Legion this year. I mean, even what they did from the previous, um, the previous Watch Dogs 2 or Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I think was the latest one. So yeah, I mean, they're making great progress. Um, I know it's frustrating that it's not totally blind accessible despite the level of text-to-speech, even low vision. You notice that there is a little bit of inconsistency here with some of the text-to-speech that I noticed more having played a lot more of the game since I did when I did my accessibility overview video. Um, there are some oddities there even for low vision relying on those types of features. But like I said... Um, great features some of this stuff could probably be fixed in a patch kind of some of the inconsistencies where it should read but it isn't um you know for the menus having more 
traditional menu navigation allow people to navigate via the d-pad or analog stick and maybe not use cursors unless you're in a a screen where like a map or something where it actually makes sense to but even having that snap as an option is helpful for people so yeah there are little things where they could improve they could have a little more consistency um a little bit more navigation uh cues visually audibly what have you but overall, um, I'm still going to keep playing this because I'm genuinely interested in the Viking story. I like the mechanics. I like raiding. Like I said, sometimes I just want to like this. And the soundtrack is really good. Like when you're in, you know, you have the subtle background music sometimes. When you're doing a raid, you have some of the, I've heard some really cool um, like orchestral stuff. Some of it has like chants in it or like kind of people singing over it. Um, but I, like I said, I can't help but think of like, man... I just want to turn on, you know, turn the music off sometimes and just like storm in with some Viking, uh, Viking death metal, you know, just put on some Amar, Amon Amarth or something and just charge in. Uh, it, it would fit. It kind of would. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Uh, try to show both the good and bad. Like I said, as much as I do appreciate it, I just, and I did, I was provided a review copy. I did want to give my honest feedback of the game and show where I loved it and where I had trouble. Um, so yeah, like the video if you did. Subscribe if you have not done so already. There's definitely more content coming. You can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and of course, right here on YouTube. So until next time, I will chat with you guys again later.